PS5. I still want to know how you tell the difference. <laughs> oh, they have a sticker. Okay, I forgot. I couldn't see the sticker. I needed my glasses. So PS, as you've imagined, is Pie Slinger. So we have Pie Slinger 1 through Pie Slinger 5 with us today. Pie These Slinger are... 6 is down at Merritt Island, Florida right now. All right. Final time, 8.29 seconds. You know, many, many years ago, Line Mauler won the line following competition. I then presented the mathematical algorithms to the club, and everybody in the club now beats me. So, <laughs> are, we are we ready? We are ready to go. So, uh, Line Mauler has an Arduino uh, controller. Um, Kind of a fun fact about Line Mauler is there are no parts for Line Mauler that were actually purchased for a robot. There's extra motors from a bomb detection project. There's an old junction box for the chassis. Uh, parts from a thrift store RC car and an old model airplane. All right, final time, 23.84 seconds. Okay. Robotics Simo board, but it's got a uh, Synapse um, RF engine wireless controller on it. It's programmed wirelessly in Python, so they wrote the Python code to control this and do line All right. Oh, we're pretty darn quick. I think this is faster than line mauler. And you probably didn't even use my algorithm, did you? No. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Okay, there's one lap. A little bit of a little bit of zigzagging here. Yeah. All right, coming up to the final stretch. Good job. All right, good job. Final time: thirty point ten seconds. All right. Yeah. We're doing pretty darn quick here. Are we faster than the three pies? IR Oh, no software tweaking, just bending things. That's excellent. That's probably the best way anyway. Oh. Are you gonna beat me using my own algorithm? I hope so. You did. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that particular section messes up a lot of folks there. Interesting thing about advanced line follower is uh, we don't have that nice rule where you get to fix your robot if you run Final off the edge. 33 seconds. 33.38, okay. Right. That's slowing down even more. If we come off the track, I'm going to be prepared in case we come off the track here. We're staying on pretty well. A lot of wobbling, but it's staying on so far. It's one of the advantages of a smaller robot is uh, it has the ability to kind of stay, hang in there. It's, um, there we go. 14.08 seconds. That was the clubs. Um, and the interesting thing about this is we specifically designed this to be modular so that each year we have several different ways of configuring it. This is specifically different than last year's course. Hopefully we actually remember to take photographs and study and check it. Otherwise, we, you know, because there's, uh, I think, four configurations this can be set up in. And notice this is uh, very, very smooth. This nice wide robot senses the, all those. Uh, how many sensors are in the bottom of this robot, Jim? Uh, we got five. Five sensors in the bottom? Three. run the same code as my basic line follower. All right. So we're going to expect a little bit of wiggle wobbles here, but... Hopefully these uh, bad sensors aren't going to mess you up too. You do a little sprint there at the beginning. Oh, oh, oh! Well, we, we need to sort that out pretty quick, like. Oh, we got a duck. Whoa, are we staying? Are we staying on? We're back! We're back! Okay, yeah! Oh, we turned around the wrong way, though. Sorry, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Tim, as you notice, Tim's moving the robot back and forth. He does that, his robot auto-calibrates to the line. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> However, uh, and Tim, here we go, tick-tock, tick-tock, five seconds down, and like a rocket, 
And that wide sensor stance allows him to see in advance what's going on with the line, so he doesn't have to really react to it, but he's actually kind of sensing it pretty far ahead what happens. You got a final time of 13.75 seconds. 13.75, like a rocket, okay. You see a little wiggle at the beginning, that's to help self calibrate so we can find the line and know what the line looks like. Kind of looking around before it uh, leaves. Okay, the problem uh, on that on one the other is hand, it's teeter tottering. That's the problem. I just saw. Yeah, the other trick in real life is sometimes the camera's IR is in the back. I was heading right toward the beacon. I'll bring you the beacon. Bingo. Five second delay, judges. Yep. Ready? Okay, judges ready? Go. Turning, <laughs> it's doing a servo body. And it's looking for the brightest, uh, looking for the brightest IR and visible light source. And it's going to go a little bit and stop and look again. Hopefully correct and go a little closer towards the beacon. And then the front row, it's not programmed to stop, so if you come, it'll stop more soon. Okay, it looks like the front row will help. Uh. Oh, no! We use the same one. Ours uh, also doesn't stop when it encounters the beacon, so ours is going to be a front row killer slash beacon killer as well. <laughs> five second delay. That's required by the rules, is that right, or no? Oh, we thought there was five second delay required. Yes, five second delay is required by the rules. But only on this, only on beacon killer with a... Uh... And it's off. And it's going to it. Bingo. Contact, okay, right there. He's got the top watch. 6.92. Okay, ready? I'm ready. Amazing. Amazing. And uh and push it. Try to look for the obstacles, but my lower uh, ultrasonic sensor died, so the, the upper one has a hard time seeing them. So maybe a lot of blind luck this time. Right? Yep. And Ra Randy's robot does a search around. Oh! Mac one, Mac two. Oh God, I got two of them. Let's get the rest of them. <laughs> I'm not done with that one. What's that? I'm not done with that one. <laughs> I was going to go straight forward. There has to be three obstacles between the starting point and the ending point, and we got all three. Beacon bulldozer? This is bulldozer, right? <laughs> Beacon dozer. Beacon dozer. Ready? Four point two eight. Here we go. Jeff Robot. We have a winner. What color do you want? 